Okay, Shalom, Shalom, it's the brother Kadash. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. New released tax filings show exactly how Black Lives Matter spent their donation money. <laughs> so we're going to name this Black Lives Matter or BLM. What happened to the money, you know? But this isn't totally going against them because there's some key points where, you know, I feel it. So we're going to let this play a little bit and kind of break it down. William Lajeunesse has been digging through it all. What do you have for us, William? Well, Stuart, here you have an $80 million foundation. Last year they had zero board meetings and one board member. So that's not oversight. But the scrutiny is over use of donor money to hire friends and family. So three expenses stand out. BLM gave almost $1 million to Damon Turner, the father of the co-founders, Patrice Cullors' child, to produce live events. 840000 went to the, her brother, Paul, for security. Cullors also admits hiring her mother and sister to work at BLM's L.A. mansion. I think it's important. I'm, I'm going to keep going on this, but it's just a couple things I want to kind of break down in the spirit, you know, before it goes on, you know. Um, yeah, any business that big with millions and millions of dollars, there, most of them have board meetings and have more than one board member controlling that much money. Now, we know that there's a little fraud and all this stuff. The only thing that's pure and that's righteous is the truth. You know, that's the straight way. You know, so they're not in the truth and they're not pushing the spirit of the truth, which means what? That eventually, yeah, there's their whole little system or little organization they got is going to come to an end. You know, it's going to come to a not. It's going to be exposed because it's not the truth. And the Lord is starting to move. And that's why you see this. This is on news, man. This is on Fox. That's why you're seeing this push against them because the Lord is putting the spirit out there to pretty much wipe out everything other than the truth. Look what happened to Kevin Samuels. You know, he was doing some great work, but he wasn't teaching the truth. You know, there is no other way to come in is you have to go through the straight way. You have to do what the prophets of old did and what they told us and the advice they gave us. That's what that's why the Bible's there. You know, so we know what to do today, you know, because what are we going to do? We're going to do what the prophets was doing. Son of man, Ezekiel, go out and prophesy. That's what we're going to do. Uh, be a watchman to Israel. That's what we're going to do. Um, the prophecies with Daniel, all the um, prophets, you know, Isaiah. That's We read those books and we're going out and we're doing exactly what we've seen them do. Even more importantly, we're going out and doing what the Lord was doing. What was he doing? He was going out teaching the good gospel. So what are we doing? We're going out teaching the good gospel. You know, so if you're not doing that. You could be trying to help, you know, because black people or the so-called Negroes, which are um, are the true Israelites from the tribe of Judah. You could be trying to help them, but you're not helping them the right way, you know, which is teaching them the laws of the Lord and to follow and believe in the Lord. You know, um, Kevin Samuels, you could be teaching, you know, relationship advice, but you're not teaching it through the scriptures, you know, through the truth, through the Lord's words, which is found in the Bible. You know, um, you're not teaching it that way. So it's going to come to the end. You know what I mean? So um, a couple, you know, comments on this is, I mean, see, I don't see this as being a big problem. And there's been a lot of channels that's been reporting on this. I mean, if I open up an organization, who I'm going to hire, especially an organization like this, I'm going to hire the people that's closest to me, brothers, you know, baby fathers, like um, they said, you know, husbands and stuff like that, close family members, because uh, one of the big, big, big threats and with um, running an organization like this is infiltrators. You know, you got agents that infiltrate. You all seen the movie Judas and the Black Messiah, right? So one of the ways to get around that is hiring people that you've been knowing for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years already. So it makes sense, you know? It makes sense. You got to think outside the box. And nobody ever says anything when the Arabs do this. The Arabs could, um, could come in your fucking hood, right? Um, now, they don't live in the hood, right? Because just like um, my hood, and I come from Springfield, Illinois, east side, right? Um, I come from a place called Evergreen back in the day. They changed it to Sherwood. And I think that the, um, you know, the little complexes or whatever, the buildings, the little apartments and all that shit, I think it's closed down today. So it's pretty much vacant. But um, um, you never see any Arab families that live there, man. You never see, okay, look, that's an Arab house on the corner right there. They ask us live on the west side, but how come all of their businesses is on the east side? Just, just using my city or the ghetto. You know where the Jews, um, Jews are at, right? 
um, why are all their businesses over there? Because that's who they're targeting, right? We got this little Arab, which are the Ishmaels, Ishmaelites, right? We got this Arab star in our mall, right? Now, they come from, um, you know, the Muslim world. They come from Saudi Arabia, different parts and stuff like that, right? Now, now this is the problem. Now, check me out. This is the problem, right? Now, you go in that store, there's no Indian, there's no... There's, they don't even have garments. You know how you go to Saudi Arabia, you go to Dubai or something, you know, everybody's over there wearing the garments, you know, the Ishmaelite garments and stuff like that. The Arab garments. There's no garments. There's no head wraps. There's no trace of any of that thing in their store. But you want to know what they got? Jeans with rips in it, with colors and paint on it. All stuff to target Jake. You know, um, urban, what they call urban shirts and clothing and stuff like that flashy belts and stuff gucci you know all the all this stuff is the target who the israelites the so-called negro man so who is their target audience so you see the people that's collecting the money is not our people behind the counter but who is the target audience it's not they're not targeting edomite white boys they don't have hollister type clothing and stuff in there they have all jake type clothing in there and then you go down the street, guess what? You got the car lots. But the car lots, like I said, it's not on the west side. Where are all the car lots at? On the east side, where where? Where all the Israelites live at. It's close to the ghettos. You know, so they could come in with cheap cars, right? And, you know, put you on a payment plan that you can't make. And then they could get that car and flip that car four or five times before they finally actually sell it. You know, so they're they're using themselves of us. They're using us, you know? Um, pretty much we're a prey to them. They're hunting after us. You know, um, on every on every corner store, there's a liquor store that's, that's owned by what? The Arabs. Why aren't they opening up these liquor stores on the west side? No, they got these liquor stores right on the corner. Uh, every corner you go to, they got a liquor store. But they don't live in the hood, though. But they selling all the liquor. They got gas stations. They You don't never see an Arab gas station that's out on the good side of the town. They got the gas station right in the hood. So they're coming to these small cities where there's ghettos at, well, even the big cities, and they're targeting black people. They say, look, we're going to get here. We found, it's like finding, it's like finding, um, um, black gold, which is oil. You go, you're going to go set up shop where that oil is at. You know, you're going to put your oil rigs on this land, put one over here on this corner. Look, we just, we just hit black gold. So that's what they're doing. They go to these cities. They come from their countries. They say, oh, look, there's a black population here. Okay, there's a nice size black population here. Okay, let's set up a corner shop. Uh, um, Let's set up a chicken shack. They're selling you chicken. Why are they selling chicken? Because they know niggas love chicken. Okay, let's set up a car lot. You can make money. Put it in our cousin's name. Okay, let's set up um a gas station. Let's set up a liquor store, a convenience store. We can make money off these people. We could uh, uh, take all the money from these people. They're never going to hire a black person. They're going to take all the money. They're going to hire and put on all their cousins, all their family. And then they're going to take that money out of the hood and send it back to their people or live on the good side of town where they're living at. Driving the nice, fancy cars that they're living at. You see? So I don't see the problem that she hired her brother or her husband or cousin or whatever. Because the Arabs do it. They have a car lot with 15 people that work there. It's all their family, cousins, brothers, sisters and shit, aunties and shit, doing the accounting. Every every job that you got, they got their people to do it. You see it with the Edomites when they do it. They fucking, their cousin is the sheriff, right? <laughs> the state's attorney is the auntie. The judge is the, the grandma. The fucking prison guard is their other cousin. You see how it works? Everybody does this. When the last time you seen an Asian working at one of your jobs or working at McDonald's with you? They ask his own nail salons, beauty parlors. And when you go in there, who they got hired? All they people. But who are they targeting? Like we got this store in our city called Utah, right? Man, you go in there, the first people you're going to see is Asian people behind the desk. You're not going to see a lick of Asian anything in there. All you're going to see is wave gel and do rags and white tees and wigs and shit and nails clip on nails. it's like wait who are y'all targeting they're obviously targeting the negroes but they're hiring all their people 
So what they're about to talk about with the whole Black Lives Matter thing, <laughs> that ain't no problem because everybody do it. That's what we're supposed to do. She's supposed to hire her people and put that money in her people's hand. Who's she supposed to do? Hire people she don't know and put the money in their hand? But there's still a little bit of problem with their, the way they were spending it. You know, but let's keep going. That people understand that while my brother is the head of security and my mom and sister did work at the property, it's not like I literally, you know, opened up the bank accounts and was like, I'm bringing all my family and friends in. Folks had skill sets. Right. BLM also paid. Right. You supposed to do that. You got a skill set. Oh, my uncle got a skill set. He He's really good at security. Then guess what? Shit, I'm going to hire my uncle. <laughs> why, why am I going to go outsource to somebody when I could put this money? you supposed to do that. I don't see a problem with that. Loma Bowers, $2.1 million for consulting. He and two others now serve on the board. BLM spent $1.2 million lobbying to impeach President Trump and eliminate bail. Colors spent 73000 on a private jet and used the L.A. mansion for two private parties, but... 73000 on private jet? That's chump change. You got private jets that cost $40 million, you know? But, hey, it is what it is, you know? But then at the same time, that's why, in the truth, we don't... We don't... We not selling the truth to you. And that's how you know it's real. All the work we do, all the videos countless brothers put up every day, thousands of videos and stuff like that, man. We're doing this because we believe you could come get this truth for free this video i'm not telling you to um oh like or su subscribe you should like it so it can help the video go out and you should sub to me you know and that just gives brothers more motivation too at the same time but i'm not doing it this channel's not monetized i'm not making a whole bunch of money off this channel you know we're not selling the truth man we're doing this because we truly believe, and this is what the Lord told us to do through the way of the Bible and the other prophets and the examples that's been set in front of us. That's the difference. Later reimbursed BLM for both. BLM dispersed $25 million in grants to 31 groups. They banked for... So what's wrong with that? They put out $25 million in grants to groups. They putting the money back for their people. They giving out grants. Grants, you know, you don't have to pay the grants back. That's a good deed. 31 million, including 32 million in stock. Supporters blame any accounting flaws on inexperience. I actually did not know what 990s were before all of this happened. Something's being weaponized against us that many people don't even know and honestly don't care about. It, it is such a trip now to hear the word, the, 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 the term 990s. I'm like, I'm going to just leave it right there. So, you know. Um, it is what it is. You know, that money don't mean shit. So I'm not going to be mad at them about spending Esau's money. You know, when render to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, render to the Lord what belongs to the Lord. We're going to leave it there and say salvation to the elect. Shalom.